Angelica Hale admits she's feeling the nerves about competing against Susan Boyle in the final after getting a golden buzzer. The 10-year-old singer is the first ever America's Got Talent contestant to get two golden buzzers after Howie Mandel sent her straight through to the finals in Monday's episode. Angelica said she knows Susan and Spain's Got Talent winner Christina Ramos will be her toughest competition, but she idolizes both of them. I'm a little bit nervous, she told people about the final. Of Susan, who finished runner-up on Britain's Got Talent 10 years ago, and Christina she added, both of them are absolutely incredible. Susan Boyle is a legend and Christina Ramos is so incredible. I look up to both of them. I actually was very excited to compete against them but also a little nervous. Angelica took to the stage on Monday night with a storming performance of Fight Song by Rachel Platten. The young songstress said she picked that song to send a message. I put up a fight. I'm going to fight for my place on Champions. I was competing against some of the most amazing talents so I knew I had to step it up. I had to step up my game so the song I chose had a lot to do with me and my past. Also through to the AGT final is British opera singer Paul Potts who won BGT in 2007. The former phone salesman returned with a rendition of Italian song Caruso, which earned him a standing ovation and high praise from judges Simon Cowell, Mel B, Heidi Klum and Howie Mandel. Also in the final are Preacher Lawson and Deadly Games. Fellow British acts, AGT finalist 2018 Courtney Hadwin, and Ashley Butler who won back Britain's Got Talent with her dog Pudsey back in 2012 were both eliminated last week. America's Got Talent airs Mondays on NBC in the US and Tuesdays on Netflix in the UK. If you've got a story, video or pictures get in touch with the Metro.co.uk entertainment team by emailing us celebtips at Metro.co.uk, calling 020-361-52145 or by visiting our Submit Stuff page, we'd love to hear from you. More, Piers Morgan threatens uncontrolled violence if Good Morning Britain doesn't win at National Television Awards More, Ofcom receives nearly 100 complaints over Jason Gardner and Gemma Collins dancing on Ice Row.